here's a little intro until I get one professionally done. Like, comment, and subscribe to join in on the fun. Today we are in Denver, Colorado in our hotel room because we have ordered takeout from a place that I've wanted to go to. It is called Bo Joe's. It is Colorado Mountain Pizza and I discovered this while um, on the way here. So we didn't come straight to Denver. We went to go visit Jacob's sister in Eagle, Colorado, which is about an hour and a half, two hours east of here east or west it's it's around denver <laughs> but it's more rural and the altitude is super high like jacob and i have been dealing with altitude sickness because first we were an eagle then we went to go see mooses which you saw in the video and all of these were like crazy high like they say denver is the mile high city well we were like two miles <laughs> like it it's been extreme like today i took the day off jacob went to go film because I needed a break to rest and recover from altitude sickness again because we've just been like zipping around. So we were in South Park yesterday, which is 10,000 feet and that's super high. Uh, Denver is only about 6,000 feet for comparison. So yeah, but while I was zipping around, I was looking up Colorado food and one of them that I saw and Jacob actually told me about was Rocky Mountain oysters. And you should look up what that is. I don't know if I will be trying that. <laughs> Jacob said he hasn't even tried those. And he tries everything. So maybe that will happen. Maybe it won't. But what will happen is Bo Joe's. And that is Colorado Rocky Mountain Pizza. And it was discovered way back in Fur Trapper days. <laughs> There's lore behind this pizza place. And I have the site up here to tell you the lore of this crazy place. So I guess first I should tell you what Colorado Mountain Pie actually is. The crust is rolled so it's like braided and it's rolled into like you know a crust. <laughs> so that's the perimeter and it says here it is made to create a barrier to hold in a mountain full of fresh toppings to satisfy, to satisfy an adventurous appetite. So they also sell the twists and it's made with honey and they say that like once you're done with the pizza, if you don't eat the crust, you should dip it in honey. And they're actually celebrating their 50th anniversary currently. So it's a good time to try this. So pizza is like my favorite thing in the world. I try to try different styles of pizza as I travel along with Jacob, though I try to, um, I try to not admit that pizza was my favorite food when we first started dating. <laughs> he said his was steak and I felt that that was <clears throat> classy, so I was going to say something like sushi, but I, I admitted pizza and it still is my favorite and I feel like I shouldn't shame it. So this place joins my love for mascots and Pizza plus mascots is phenomenal. And this guy is Pizza Pie. It says here that he got his start as a French fur trapper and he traveled to Colorado on a hunt for a woolly mammoth. And so he didn't find a woolly mammoth and decided to go into pizza, <laughs> which I guess is quite different. So to start his pizza journey, he traveled into an abandoned mine shaft and didn't emerge until he had the recipe in hand. So although he had this wonderful recipe, fate had a terrible twist. After he found the pizza, he created the pizza, a woolly mammoth trampled him to death. The woolly mammoth that he was searching for, but Luckily, before he was trampled, he wrote down his recipe on the back of a tortoise shell. And that tortoise shell is named Bojo. And so that's where the name comes from. And yeah, so 
This is super fun. I don't know why there's such a crazy backstory, but I'm all for it. And it says here that the turtle wandered the Colorado landscape for 75 years before being rediscovered by a local fellow named Chipped. Once Chip realized that Bojo was carrying Pizza Pie's beloved pizza recipe, the world rejoiced and Bojo's Colorado style pizza was born. So on the website here, you can see a picture of what I will assume is pizza pie. Otherwise, it's Chip, the guy that found the turtle and the recipe. But you see this little guy here, and he has a little pizza. And I am going to envision that this is the guy that's making our pizza tonight. Because look at him. Look at his little hat. Look at his little beard. He's adorable. And here you can see the actual pizza. You can see the twisted crust right here, the braided crust. They also have traditional pizza, which you can see here. But I definitely went with the braided turtle crust <laughs> because, of course, you have to try that one. I mean, he, he went through so much to get us this pizza. I also think it's super cute that their loyalty program is called the Miner's Club. Here you can see the mining cart with the little pizza on top. Yeah, it's definitely Colorado style, the whole thing, the whole, <laughs> this whole experience. So here it says that the pizzas, and this is true because I already ordered the pizza and it's on its way currently. They're, um, you, normally you have like small, medium, large. These ones are in pounds. So they have one, two, three, and five pound options. And it says that it's recommended a pound per hungry person when ordering sizes. So... I ordered a two or three pound pizza. I don't remember which, but regardless, that is not how much I weigh. So I guess I did this wrong. I am supposed to order a pound for, for me, and I didn't. So hopefully I am full enough. And it also says that the crust, after you're done, like I said, acts as a dessert, and you're supposed to dip it in honey, and um, they also sell the honey sticks, so I got those. So regardless, I mean, I don't have honey in the hotel room, so we're just gonna have to eat it as pizza, but that is an option as well. Jacob, is the pizza here? It is. <gasps> we have to go get the pizza. Let's go get the pizza. Hooray! So in this container, we have the honey sticks. And they're served with cheese. Let's open these guys up and see what they look like. All right, so they're braided. Yeah, they're built in. They're built in. They don't come with honey on the side is what I'm trying to say. They are built in with honey and cheese. So those look pretty incredible. And then Jacob and I each ordered a, what would be a medium pizza. I ordered just pepperoni because it's my favorite. And he ordered the sausage. So, he, oh, that looks actually really, really good. So there's my pepperoni. And then, da, 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 da. Here is, did yours also have pepperoni, Jacob? And sausage. Oh, well, I assume this is yours. This one looks like it has... Did it have green chilies? I saw that a bunch of them had green chilies. I don't think so. Oh, well, did it have peppers? Did it have something green? Uh, I don't remember. Oh, well, <laughs> this one's Jacob's. I can see some mushrooms. So, we're going to try these. Jacob, are you excited? You're, this was my decision, so. <laughs> yeah, it's always good to, to try, try new things. So, it said on the website that it's a pound per person that you're supposed to order. Oh, okay. Did you order 200 plus pounds of pizza? A pound per person, not a pound per pound per person. That's what it said, that they encourage you to order a pound per person. But that's one pound for one person, right? A pound for how much you weigh. Oh, well, I don't think anyone can eat their own body weight. That's just ridiculous. <laughs> I, I think they can. The lore of uh, Mr. Pizza Pie, I mean, he seems to think that you can. So. I have faith in this, although we did not order that. Are you ready to try it? Jacob is not as big of a pizza person as I am, so. Mm. It's good. good. It's good. It's really good. It's very hot, too. Here's the crust, all braided and 
fun. So I'm gonna try to eat this, but it may not work because it's very, look, the cheese is all melting and I'm trying to like put it back on as we're going here. <laughs> It's really, actually really, really good. Really cheesy. Mm-hmm. And the sauce, they have regular marinara, but they also have bow sauce. Look at my hands. I'm covered in bow sauce. And apparently it has honey in it. Mm-hmm. It's a um, marinara with spices and honey, and it's really good. Now that I've had it, I can attest. I had to, like, Google it. didn't say on the actual menu what it is. And I was like, yes, I need this. I love honey. Like, I always drink tea with milk and honey. Do you put it on pizza? Um, I don't think I've ever put it on pizza. In a pizzeria in Buffalo, they have, like, hot honey on pizzas. And well, this is just regular honey. This is almost like a pretzel. With the end crust, it's like a pretzel. Is it good? Yeah, it's good. You're not a big pretzel guy either, though. So, this is definitely a gen meal. <laughs> I'm glad you like it, though. No, it's good. It's good pizza. Would you dip it in honey? You're not really a honey guy either. I mean, might be good, I don't know. I'll try it. We don't have any honey though. Do you like honey? Yeah, honey's fine. See, I'm obsessed. <laughs> I think that's the difference. It's really good. So, I got to the crust, and Jacob's right, it's definitely like a pretzel consistency. It's good though. He was just saying that he thinks it's more crust than pizza, and that may be accurate. It's definitely a lot of crust. So, here again are the honey and cheese sticks. Did you want to try one? Sure. So what, what are they? They're basically the crust with cheese and honey. Is there cheese and honey on them? I believe so. Do they smell honey-ish? Mm -hmm. No, they smell like the crust. Maybe the crust already has honey on it? No, oh, that has honey on it. It's like... That's interesting. I like it a lot. Yeah, it's like bread. I don't actually, I don't think, I think it's a little different than the crust. But it's got like honey soaked under the cheese. And that's interesting. I think it's really good. It's pretty good. But interesting, do you mean good or interesting? Like, bleh. <laughs> I mean, I'm still eating it. I guess it was terrible. You'd be like running off camera. And I think it's really, really good. Hmm. It's like a cheesy dessert. Now I didn't go to the actual restaurant. Like I said, we had it delivered. But I'd like to think that they have the little mascot, like a little plushie or something, because it's ridiculous that the, there's that much lore with this pizza place. Like, I love mascots. There's this show on Netflix that I watched that was all about like professional mascots, like for sports and all about that. and. Jacob and I have a mascot collection, so the fact that they've gone this hardcore with their Papa guy, what what was his name? Pizza Pie, I don't know, no, yeah, Pizza Pie. I don't know where I got Papa from, maybe Papa John's? I don't know, but yeah, it's definitely delightful. And speaking of mascots, look at this guy, look, it's Blucifer. So you push his little forehead and his eyes glow. So when we flew into the Denver airport, we had to make sure that we stopped to see Blucifer. And Jacob went to the museum today and found a Blucifer. He's so cool. I'm trying to push his little forehead again to light him up. So he's gonna go with the mascot collection. And I want a pizza pie to go with Blucifer. Maybe he could like ride him into the sunset. So, on the tag here, it says, Lucifer, Demon Stallion of the West. So, speaking of mascots, here is the Denver mascot, and I love him. <laughs> so, thanks for watching. Um, yeah, we're going to be in Denver for a few more days. If you have any suggestions on places that we should check out, you should let me know. I have some toy stores in mind that I want to check out, but if you guys know of any that I don't have... Um, planned then i'd be happy to check those out i mean if time it, yeah but <laughs> i'm looking forward to them so thanks for watching um i have a patreon and a cameo both in the description and yeah that's it bye